In this video, we're headed aboard the Disney Dream to tell you all about the Royal Palace. This is the French-inspired rotational dining restaurant you'll experience on the Disney Dream. We'll talk about all the menu items, the theme of the restaurant, and the overall experience. The Royal Palace is located just off of the atrium on Deck 3. It is the most formal of the three rotational dining rooms aboard the Disney Dream. As the name hints, the theme of the restaurant is like a royal palace, themed to many different Disney princesses, but highlighting specifically Cinderella. And this restaurant offers the same menu, or a very similar menu, aboard the Disney Fantasy at the Royal Court, on the Disney Wonder at Triton's, and on the Disney Magic at Lumiere's. For the bread service, they have a warm French country bread with an olive spread. The bread was delicious and tasted great. Next, let's talk about appetizers. One of the most popular appetizers is the breaded and deep fried brie. This is delicious. The deep fried outside is always crispy, and the inside brie is always melty and delicious. Then there's the chilled jumbo shrimp. My parents really enjoyed this. The duck confit, which is also very good. And the escargot, which is also very popular. If you've never had escargot before, I'm going to put a throwback clip in here of a previous cruise where my family tried escargot for the first time. And because of the number of Italian spices they were using in this, it honestly tasted more like an Italian dish than anything else. Right. In just a second, we are going to try the escargot. And Megan and Nate have never tried it. I don't think Dad's ever tried escargot. Dad has tried escargot, but he's gonna try it. Sure, sure, he's not gonna try it. I don't think she's had it before. So I had it last time and it was okay. So we'll see if it's still okay. So should I do it with a spoon? Um, yeah. If you do, you want to go first? <laughs> go, go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Do I Chew, want all the liquid? Um, the, it's just saucy stuff. Choo choo swallow. Choo choo swallow. That's what I say. <laughs> choo choo swallow. Maybe choo 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 swallow up for that one. It looks too swallow. Okay. Here we go. Still chewing. Does it taste like pizza? I don't know if it tastes like pizza. <laughs> but not bad. If I didn't know that was a snail, then I wouldn't be thinking about it. Just don't look at it. <laughs> Escargot. Do you want to try dad? All video dad. <laughs> he's, he's getting the bread. Uh oh, uh oh. He liked it, he liked it. Now I have to do it because everyone else did. <laughs> Peer pressure. You just can't think about it. The flavor's totally fine. So what does everyone Mom, think? Mom's reaction was not fine. I could have that not too bad! The farmhouse salad was also fresh and delicious. Nothing out of this world, but just a good salad. The red wine pear salad, which my mom also enjoyed. 
The French onion soup is also another very popular item. And then this soup is actually a leek and potato soup, which was very good. The flavor wasn't overwhelming, but just a good taste. Here's the full list of appetizers, soups, and salads. Throughout dinner, there were some royal visitors that walked around the restaurant, so that was a fun addition. Now let's talk about our entrees. The oven-baked salmon royale was delicious. I would definitely order this again. The roasted filet steak was also delicious. It comes with crushed new potatoes and shallots and buttered green beans. From the lighter note menu, they have an oven-baked filet of salmon, and they have the roasted rack of lamb, which I've also had previously, and this was also delicious. Here's the full list of main course options. Now let's talk about my favorite, desserts. The apple tart is a caramelized baked apple served with vanilla ice cream. This dessert is not overly sweet, so if you're hoping for something very rich, this is not what you want, but if you are hoping for just something light, I would definitely go for this one. The vanilla creme brulee was delicious. The strawberry shortcake sundae is a typical sundae with strawberries, vanilla ice cream, and some shortcake mixed in. Our server insisted our table have the souffle, so he did bring two of those. As you can see, they bring it out and actually dump the cream in as you watch. This is the duo chocolate slice. This is a no sugar added dessert, which is layers of brownie and truffle mousse with berry cream. Here's the full list of desserts. Overall, we really enjoyed our meal at the Royal Palace. Each of our dishes were delicious, and the menu did have some items we would normally wouldn't order, so it's fun to branch out and try some new things. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please give a like, and why don't you go and check out my other video about Animator's Palette, which you can also find aboard for the Disney ships. Thanks for watching.